Welcome to this year's Eurobike. It's bigger, it's better, let me show you. We should start our day with a great breakfast and of course a networking session. And that's why I'll be joining Women in Cycling, a network that has been founded to connect women in the cycling industry. We have over 200 women meeting here to network, to connect and really to shape the cycling industry. And I will now meet one of the founders who is Isabel Eberlein. Let's go. So Isabel, why was Women in Cycling founded? Women in Cycling was founded to make the industry more diverse and to make sure that women are at the decision making tables. It is a feel good event, but it's also an event to really fundamentally change things. So if you would have a wish for the next five years, what would it be? So my wish would be that we um, are an open and inclusive industry. All kind of diversity being represented, because then only we can build a mobility for society if we also represent and incorporate that diversity in our sector. If you're into bikes that are handmade, custom and unique, then you should definitely check out the handmade area. Around 40 exhibitors from around the world showcase their products here and I can tell you it's real craftsmanship. So if you're into that, then you should definitely check it out. But let's have a look at this together. So tell me, why do you manufacture so unique and special bikes? Well, I, I, I manufacture, I work for other companies, so I wanted to do something away from my boss, away from the market. I don't try to be different, it just happens to be that if you, if you look outside of the box, you can actually make something really, really special. Definitely a special bike. So this year's Eurobike conference program has really enlarged. There are around 200 speakers who are presenting their insights and knowledge on different stages. And two keynotes have caught my special interest. Follow me. bike are a very underestimated combination, especially when talking about mobility and rental in touristic destinations. That's at least what I have learned just now in the keynote by Stephanie Berg, who is the head of marketing and sales, as well as an executive board member of Deutsche Bahn Fernverkehr. So Stephanie, thank you so much for your time. Please tell us why are bike and rail such a good combination? Well, I think uh, they are a good combination because bike lovers actually also are avid train users. So they go a lot by train. The two go well together. All the new trains, the new ICEs that we are getting have uh, eight uh, bike places so that we have enough capacity to transport bikes or the other way around that people can rent bikes in destination. So we are um, also having a lot of partnerships to provide bikes of good quality in the necessary quantity also in peak times. Perfect. Now coming to the last question already. I want to know, have you ever tried that combination yourself? I know you're very busy, but have you tried it? Actually, one of the first trips of my life ever when I was young was going by train to France okay. and taking my bike along so that we did a cycling tour uh, through the Bretagne. Mm -hmm. It was actually a very memorable trip. So nowadays I usually rent bikes uh, when I'm at the destination, like being in a city or a rural area and go by bike, yeah. So you've heard it? try it out. Since COVID, the online market is booming. The retail sector is changing rapidly and this is due to digitalization and different customer preferences. I'm now very delighted to be talking to an expert in digital commerce. She's the head of retail media at Kleinanzeigen, Germany's biggest re-commerce platform. So Maria, tell us what does Kleinanzeigen have to do with the Eurobike? Actually, um, auto and bikes is one of the biggest categories for us on Planenzeigen. So we have around 7 million unique searches just for bikes and around 6 for e-bikes. Uh, we see the tremendous development of e-bikes 
and I, I certainly think that this trend will continue. In Germany, more than 95% of people know what Glanenzagen is. We are there for any stage of the consumer um, of their lifetime and uh, this is an honor to be there. Thank you so much, Maria. I'm very keen to see your keynote in a few minutes. I don't know about you, but I definitely need some fresh air. So the perfect way to now round it up is to get outside and check out the test track. The cycling lane is twice as long as last year, 3.6 kilometers. Over 1,200 bikes can be tested and I'll definitely start out with the first one. So that was the perfect day at the Eurobike and in case you didn't make it this year, make sure to be here in 2025.